More details tonight about last night's fire in downtown La Crosse. And News 8 Now's Tyler Job is live in the area where the fire started, and he has more on the latest. Tyler. Mike and Martha, investigators say that the fire started at the back of the building above the casino bar. Now you can't see it, but there is heavy smoke damage inside that building as well. The fire then spread to the building that houses Brothers Bar. Fortunately, nobody was injured, but last night had some scary moments for lacrosse fire crews. At about 10 o'clock Monday night. Fire call 304 Pearl Street for the back staircase or fire exit on fire. It's actually a two story exterior stairwell to the back side of the building, and that area was fully engulfed. That portion of the building houses apartments above the casino bar. Our heart always goes out to these types of folks that are lost their places of living at no fault of their own. Assistant Chief Craig Snyder is leading the investigation. He says the fire spread to the first and second floors of the casino bar building and the second and third floors of the Brothers Bar building. Brothers Bar also suffered water damage. The casino building or the 304 Pearl Street building sustained pretty heavy fire damage to the rear of the building, uh, first floor and second floor. That building is going to be closed for quite some time. Fire Chief Ken Gilliam says multiple fire departments had to help out lacrosse fire crews. There were some pretty uh, intense moments there for a while with the amount of smoke we had coming out of the structure. The American Red Cross is helping three people affected by the fire. One of the other uh, residents there was is okay because of insurance and, and declined our assistance, which is fine. Um, so just making sure those two folks have have their next steps taken care of. Snyder says fires this time of year are common. We have a lot more people that are at home right now than they have been in the past, and those things might have some some bearing on some of the fires that we're having as well as far as finding other source of trying to heat homes. But if there is a silver lining with this fire, ultimately the structure uh, isn't in the basement. We saved the building, I think. Now, Snyder says last night's fire was the fifth in lacrosse already this year. Last year there were four, and he says that he is nervous about the, the upcoming next week because of the polar plunge we're about to go through. Mike and Martha. All right, thanks very much. Tyler Job reporting live in downtown lacrosse for us tonight. And the cause of that fire still remains under investigation.